why high vibes can be a little bit of a bullshit answer or attitude sometimes. Uh, I think originally the high vibes started out in our community with really well intentions, um, but somehow it has morphed into something else that's just like a top surface band-aid um, that is not allowing people to really dive deeper and flush through all these emotions and this work that needs to be done. There has somehow this perception that if you are spiritual, you must be happy all of the time. Um, nothing bothers you, nothing gets you down. And so I see people in this community and I've, I've spoken with clients and things before too, where they have this sort of idea that, oh, I'm going through this really hard time, but I shouldn't feel bad. I shouldn't feel upset. I shouldn't feel angry. I just have to keep this positive attitude. And what they're not realizing is, is you can keep a positive attitude, but still feel like crap and still acknowledge that you feel like crap and work through those feelings um, with also trying to maintain a positive perspective. Like, hey, this sucks now, but it's not forever and I can get through it. And I still want these good things for myself and it's still possible, right? Um, and so I think sometimes too, we don't acknowledge the duality between those. And it's very important um, as you're walking a spiritual path to validate your feelings and know how to process through those, how to express those um, in an appropriate way, of course. I mean, we can't go around screaming at people all the time, even though it would feel really fantastic. Um, it's really about understanding why you're feeling that way, acknowledging it, letting yourself know, hey, it's okay, this bad thing happened, of course you feel sad. Anyone would feel sad, it's fine. Just feel sad till you don't feel sad anymore. But continue to do things that fill your soul with joy, right? Continue to lean into the connections and the support that you have available to you as you are going through this. Um, and high vibes is not pretending to have a good time when you're not. It's, it's just not. Um, it's not doing anybody any good, most of all you. So I hope that if this is something that you are, you know, watching right now, if maybe you are experiencing this, you're like I'm going through this really shit time and I feel like crap, but people are kind of like showing me maybe I have to pretend to be okay. No, you don't. No, you don't. Um, you can set aside a time and a place to process through your emotions if you feel like it's interfering too much in your day. If it's just coming out and you're not embarrassed by it, just let it come out. You know, um, it'll pass. But it won't pass if you stuff everything down inside and pretend that it's not happening. What's going to happen to you is it's going to compound on top of each other and every event will get bigger and heavier and you will have this massive explosion that is scary and uncomfortable and it's going to be much harder to work through and release. So make sure that you are dealing with yourself appropriately and make sure you are being compassionate towards yourself. Make sure you're being kind towards yourself um, and make sure that you are not getting caught up in the trap of the high vibes. That is my wish for you. So thank you so much for listening. I hope that was helpful to you in some way. Um, if you need help working through any situation, um, give me a call. I'm here. We can schedule something and, you know, get you from point A to point B um, in a reasonable um, and workable manner. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys have a really amazing day.